Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Are you ready for today's story? Yes, I am. I really want to know what happened to Benjamin. <laughs> All right, now listen carefully. Bismillah. In the last episode, we saw how the Prophet had placed the golden cup inside Bin Yamin's saddlebag. He did this so that he could keep Bin Yamin at the palace. Then the Prophet replied calmly, How can I set him free knowing that he stole the king's cup? It would be sinful. Judah, the eldest of the brothers, was much worried and he told the others, We promised our father that we will bring Bin Yamin back. I will stay back here and I will not leave this land until my father permits me or until Bin Yamin is released. The brothers left enough provisions for Judah, who stayed at a tavern awaiting the fate of Bin Yamin. The Prophet secretly arranged to watch over Judah's well-being as well. The Prophet was testing the sincerity of the brothers and he wanted to find if they would return for their brothers. After many days of traveling, the brothers reached their house. Father, your son has stolen, one of the brothers said. The old prophet was confused and he didn't understand what they meant. So he asked them to explain what had happened. The brothers told him everything how they were given a feast at the palace, how they got the grains, and how the king's golden cup was found in Bin Yamin's saddlebag. When the Prophet heard their story, he knew that Allah had a hand in it and understood that Allah was testing him. He was made to suffer for Yusuf before and now he was made to suffer for Bin Yamin. He knew that God was testing him, otherwise he would not make him suffer for two of his sons. He then said, Perhaps Allah will bring all of them to me. Allah is the all-knowing, all-wise. He found solace in his prayers and it strengthened his faith and patience as well. The Prophet had wept for so many years of the loss of his son Yusuf salam, and now he wept for Benjamin as well. After weeping for so many years, the Prophet had now lost his sight. O oh, Father! Why are you destroying yourself in this way? pleaded his sons. I complain of my grief and sorrow to Allah. I know from Allah what you do not know, the Prophet replied. He then asked his sons to go to Egypt once again and not to give up hope. When they arrived in Egypt, they took Judah and they went to meet Yusuf salam. They begged and they pleaded to the Prophet. By now, sorrow and love rose up in the Prophet. He could no longer bear to listen to the griefs of his own brothers. He thought, how long can I conceal the truth from them when they are in need? How long can I go without seeing my father? Then he told them, do you know what you did to Yusuf and his brother when you were ignorant? The brothers knew that this was a secret known only to themselves and Yusuf. Are you our brother Yusuf? They asked him. I am Yusuf, he replied. And Ben Yamin is my brother. Allah has been good to us. Whoever fears Allah and is patient, Allah always rewards them. The brothers began to tremble with fear. But Yusuf comforted them. We have sinned, brother. They said, Allah has certainly preferred you more than us. May Allah forgive you, said the Prophet. He is the most merciful of the merciful. The Prophet then embraced his brothers and wept with joy. It was not possible for him to leave Egypt as he had many responsibilities. So he advised his brothers to leave without him. He then gave them his shirt and said, Take this shirt of mine and throw it over my father's face, he will recover his sight. Then bring me all of your family. The brothers agreed and left for Canaan. As the caravan approached Canaan, 
Yaqub alayhi salam sensed the scent of Yusuf in the air. He stood up all of a sudden, got dressed and went to meet his sons. Yaqub has come out of his room today. The wife of his eldest son remarked, How do you feel today? asked the other. I can smell Yusuf in the air, replied the Prophet. The wives then left him alone, saying that there was no hope for him. He will die weeping over Yusuf, said one. He said he could smell him. Has he gone mad? said the other. That night, the old man asked for a glass of milk to break his fasting. As the caravan approached nearer, the old prophet kept praying to the Lord. And when the caravan finally arrived, the old prophet went outside and asked, I smell Yusuf in the air. Is it real or am I hallucinating? You are certainly mistaken, said one of the wives. But the prophet was indeed telling the truth. The bearer of the good news arrived and placed Yusuf's shirt over his face. It was a miracle. As soon as the shirt was placed, Yaqub got his sight back. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that I know from Allah what you don't know? He said to them happily. The brothers realized their mistake. We have sinned, father. Please ask forgiveness for our actions, they said. I will ask Lord to forgive you. He is all forgiving and all merciful, replied the prophet. Then the old prophet left for Egypt to meet his son. Yusuf salam received him with great joy. Then Yusuf salam placed his father on the throne. The old prophet's happiness knew no bounds. Then his father and all his brothers prostrated before Yusuf salam. This is the dream that I saw when I was young. Said Yusuf alayhi salam, I saw 11 stars, the sun and the moon bowing down to me. My Lord has made it true. The Prophet then met the king, seeking his permission for his family to settle down in Egypt. The Prophet was a great asset to the kingdom and the king was very happy to agree. The great power and responsibility did not distract the Prophet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He remembered and worshipped Allah all the time. The Prophet did not want to die the death of a king. He did not like to be gathered around the people of royalty. He wanted to die the death of a slave to Allah and to be gathered around the righteous. Yusuf salam, at the time of his death asked his brothers to bury him beside his forefathers. So when he passed away, he was mummified and placed in a coffin until a suitable time to be taken out of Egypt. It is said that he died at the age of 110. MashaAllah, that was such a great story. Hmm, now are you ready for the questions? Yes, I am. All right, now tell me how did Prophet Yaqub know that his son was coming? Yusuf had given his shirt to his brothers. When the caravan they were traveling approached the house of Yaqub, he got the smell of his shirt and realized that his lost son was returning. Masha Allah, that's the correct answer. Now tell me, how did Yaqub regain his sight? Yaqub regained his sight when his eyes were covered with Yusuf's shirt. That's right again. And now for the last question. Where did Prophet Yusuf salam die? Hmm, he died in Egypt at the age of 110. That's brilliant, my son. That's all for today. I will tell you the story of another prophet tomorrow. Good night, my son. Good night.